Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, 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 Sekina. Um, Sekina Subal. And if this is the first time on this channel, if this is the first time seeing this face, you are most definitely welcome. So, um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a chemical scrub. So guys, I have the names of the people that um, entered for the giveaway here, so you guys just ignore, I'm not at home right now. So my mom is here and she's going to be picking the four names. So, where my mom pick your names? Oh yeah, mom, you pick four. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Now let can you guys say the four that she picked? So let's see whose names are on this four. So guys, these are the four winners of this giveaway. As you guys can see, we have Kafaya, Omola Labake, Toby Loba, Ayola, Temi Baby, and Temi Tope Bumi Ajaybe. So um so if your name is A, you guys should contact me on Instagram. Send me a DM on Instagram. Then we are going to talk about how you are going to get your black soap. So um, all that, I'm so sorry. Um, probably you guys will win in the next giveaway. I'm not at home right now. That's why you said that I got the names on the tissue paper. I, I can't. I don't have any paper right here. So yeah. So if your name is A, can you guys see? Send me a DM on Instagram and. Let's talk about delivery and how um, the soap is going to get to you. So, congratulations, guys. So, let's jump right into today's video. Oh my god, this video is like one of my requested videos since the last time, um, since the time I uploaded the video about the um, difference between chemical scrub and um, physical scrub. I've been getting this comment, like, I've been getting this request. People are asking me to show them how to make a chemical scrub at home so um, i formulated a very simple um formulation a very simple recipe for you guys to follow and yeah in this video i'm going to show you guys this recipe i'm going to show you guys how to do it and all that jazz so if you want to know how to make your own chemical scrub at home then keep on watching use of this formulation so i'm gonna have to convert the formulation into grams for you guys to make it easier for you guys for those those of you that are beginners in formulating and you don't know how to formulate how to convert your percentage to grams or meals so i would advise you get a paper and jot this down for future reference one ingredient that i forgot to mention is the light solution the light solution is a mixture of solid sodium hydroxide with distilled water to form a mixture so we are going to be using this to balance up the ph of this formulation so you guys are going to see me do that later on the first thing we are going to be measuring out is our distilled water so i'm going to be measuring 15.1 mils of distilled water if you go back you're going to see that in our recipe i said we are going to be using 20.1 mils of water but first you want to take five mils um out of the whole measurement of the water so i'm going to be using i'm going to be measuring 15.1 mils first then i'm going to add the remaining later because we have to keep space for balancing out our ph so yeah if you are um, a pro formulator you know what i'm talking about but if you are not a formulator uh i'm sorry i don't know if you guys can get this that's so as you can see this is 15.1 so the next thing we want to add is our um aloe vera gel this is my aloe vera gel six mils of our um aloe vera gel so i'm going to be adding six mils Now the next thing we want to add is our glycerin and this is our um, glycerin so I'm using the whitening glycerin So now I want to add our lactic acid to our formulation so um, you can go ahead and use liquid lactic acid or um solid lactic acid it doesn't really matter both works just fine and both works the same so i'm going to be using my liquid lactic acid i'm going to be measuring 1.5 mils of this into the formulation the 
The next thing we want to do now is we want to add our preservative, which is the Optifem Plus. And I'm just going to be adding 1% of this preservative in this formulation. Now we are moving to the next phase of this formulation, which is the pH testing. That is where the light solution comes in. So a normal water-based um, chemical formulation should have about 4 to 5 um, 0.5 pH. So if your pH is below 4, you need to raise it up to 4 or 5. And if your pH is above 5.5, you need to reduce the pH to about 4 to 5. So you have to always test the pH of your um, water-based formulations. So this is what I'm going to show you right now. So first, we want to test our pH of this formulation and it shows that we are at about 1 pH, like the pH is around 1 and 2, so it is really, really low. So we have to increase the pH of this formulation. So what you want to do is you want to put it on a scale, you want to put your mixture on a scale because you are going to be measuring all the light solution you put into it. So you also want to put um, like the light solution in little quantity, like in drops, then you check the measurement of what you've added and you note every measurement on a sheet of paper so this first measurement is 0 0.2 so i'm going to mix it together and i'm going to check the ph again so that is basically what i'm going to do for the next few minutes so we are going to use the color chart to check it so as you can see we are like at the ph of two we are still at the ph of two so we are going to go ahead and add more light solution into the mixture as you can see, I'm going to add more light solution. Note the measurements of the light solution you are putting at each addition. You note down the weight or the mills of the solution you just add. So this is 0 0.5. I'm going to mix the mixture together and I'm going to check the pH once again. So as you can see, we are moving a little bit further. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with the light solution. And then I'm going to be noting down the measurement. I'm going to be taking the pH until I get to the pH of 4 or 5. So if you guys see now we are moving near the ph of 4 we are about 3.5 right now so i'm still going to do it one more time so that i can like just to be on the safer side to be on that like four or like four point something so yeah you can see that it is now very dark we are now on about 4.2 so yeah now our mixture is balanced now we are going to move on to the math and calculation for this formulation so i'm going to add together all the measurement of the light solution that i added to this formulation so it's ended up at 3.8 so we're going to minus this 3.8 from um if you remember our uh, oh2o was 20.1 and i added 15.1 mils of distilled water so it means five so now i'm going to remove this 3.8 from the five mils that is remaining that i'm supposed to add to the water so i'm going to be getting 1.2 mils so this 1.2 is what we are going to be adding to our um, so it's 1.2 mils of water so now i'm just going to add 1.2 mils of distilled water to balance out the remaining space that we have from that five mils that we have created before so now that's basically so i'm not i'm just going to test the ph one more time to just um confirm to be sure of that my ph is stable so now i'm just going to be adding the gelling agent which is the xanthan gum this is what is going to make it gel up to that serum texture so it wouldn't dissolve at first you just want to mix it a little bit roughly it doesn't have to dissolve then the next thing you want to do is you want to take an aluminium foil and then you want to cover this up and leave it for at least two hours um so before you leave it you want to label your um beaker with five mil lactic acid of course always label your formulations because you don't want things to mix up so you want to label this you want to leave it for at least two hours i i usually leave mine overnight but you can leave it for two hours it should dissolve so so now this is after 24 hours you guys can see how jelly it looks right now so this is the texture we are looking for in this formulation can you guys see that we have that gel like 
beautiful texture so this is our five percent lactic acid exfoliant so this is um, an exfoliant that is in is in form of a serum so you can use this as a serum just after taking your base after using your toner or your cleanser you can use this um serum on your skin so it's, it's a chemical um scrub a chemical exfoliant you don't need to wash it off just use this apply it after your toner or your cleanser then apply your um face cream or your moisturizer and you are good to go and this will do wonders to your skin it will tighten your pores it will get rid of dark spots it will get rid of blackheads and whiteheads and it will give you that silky glass skin so that is it for this video so how to use this really simple number one this scrub you can actually use this scrub every single day you can use it every day because it's a chemical scrub so you can use it every day like it so if you love this video be sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet be sure to subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every single time i upload a video